Welcome to BARD's Breathe Easy Service Training. My name is Rick Downey. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Constant Airflow Motor Upgrade Kit. We're going to review features and benefits, motor kit contents, what comes in the box, an installation overview, and look at the installation manuals. ECM Motors. We're going to talk about Constant Airflow. Constant airflow motors are often used with the highest efficiency systems. Unlike constant speed and constant torque motors, constant airflow ECMs are designed as a true variable speed motor. As static pressure changes in the system, the load on the blower changes. For example, if the filters or evaporator coil gets dirty, the static pressure would increase. This would restrict air, resulting in less air movement and less load on the motor. This causes operating inefficiencies and system problems. The motor senses this condition and adjusts the RPMs to deliver the correct amount of air. The constant airflow motor will increase its speed, or RPMs, to make up for the lost airflow. Other motors simply move less air. The constant airflow motor allows an upgrade to MERV 13 filters and the BARD legacy systems. The PSC motors can't overcome the additional static pressure from a MERV 13 filter. And with the constant airflow motor, it's operating at the lowest possible operating cost. This promotes continuous fan operation at a much lower cost, improving indoor air quality. What comes in the box? The red arrows are showing us that we've got the motor and controller. The controller mounting bracket on the left is for the large cabinet and on the right is for the small cabinet. You'll choose your low voltage harness that connects to the motor from harnesses supplied in the kit based on your unit model. The line voltage harness supplied in the kit is the same for all motors. This is a small parts kit consisting of a relay, some wire stake-on ends, screws, and wire ties. This is a group of three wires you may use from one to three depending on what model and what kit you're installing. These are the supplemental instructions. We'll take a look at those in a moment, but next, let's take a look at switching out a motor and see if we can give you some information to make your job a little easier. Turn the power off and verify it with a meter. When you pull the wires through, don't worry about marking the connections. The new motor will have new 24 volt landing points. When you remove the blower and a deflector, set that deflector aside to be sure you reinstall it on reassembly. Here we're going to discard the capacitor and capacitor bracket. Note the location of the wires leaving the motor. Only remove the right blower housing. This will save you time and assure that the motor is installed with the wires located to the right, giving you proper rotation. Remove the motor while leaving the bracket attached to the left housing. This saves time and makes reassembly easier. When the belly band is tightened, be sure the cable running to the motor module is between the 4 and 8 o'clock positions. The module pictured here is attached by the bracket for a small cabinet. The other furnished bracket is for the large cabinet units. Don't forget the two screws in the blower deck that hold the blower in position. Be sure to reinstall the air deflector and replace all the screws after reassembly. After installing the wires, be sure that no wires can rub on the edges of the blower housing. Use the supplied zip ties to secure the wires together and don't forget to attach the green ground wire to the blower housing.
Each kit contains instructions covering all the models listed with wire-by-wire -wire connections. Verify your unit model number appears in the chart for your kit. The components look the same, but the CFMs are different for each of these motors. Each kit contains detailed instructions with illustrations and pictures as shown below. Follow the installation instructions step by step for accurate electrical connections. Use the field wiring diagram provided for an overview of the electrical landing points showing the connections that need to be made to complete the installation. Select the correct adhesive backed unit wiring diagram from the list provided to match your model and place it over the existing wiring diagram on the unit. Visit BARDHVAC.com for all your unit information. You'll find it under the Technical Data tab. You can reach BARD Technical Services at 419-636-0439 between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. For training questions or information, please contact me, rick.downey, D-O-W-N-I-E, at bardhvac.com. Thank you for joining me for this presentation, and thank you for choosing Bard.